So there will be a Patreon post that go with this, which will talk about the brush that I'm using, the type of paints, uh, the different techniques, and of course there'll be a class assignment, so homework for you. So if you want to follow along on my online school, it is at Patreon, patreon.com slash Scarlett Damon. Now, this is a really fun thing to do. It's, it's a watercolor technique, but it's not... Um, well, it is something you might find in galleries, and it's it's just fun. It's just really, really fun and cool. And I thought that it would be nice to do something fun, not just pure techniques in all of the tutorials in October. So we're going to do something called blub, and how you turn blubs into an art form, or an art piece, a painting. We're going to almost like spray. I'm just gonna, exactly, just gonna throw the paint onto the paper. Now this isn't spatter. Spatter is something else. Um, what we're looking for here is actual blobs. So go ahead and touch the page if you need to make some real marks. Now at this point I might have to stop and stare at this for a while so I have some idea of what it's going to turn into. But the task is to put some blobs down, sit back and look at it. Just take a moment and look at the blobs and then decide how those blobs, whatever they are, could turn into something and what, what could they turn into. So for example, this could become some kind of bird, maybe a flying bird, although maybe not so much now, but I like, um, I like the roundness here. Her tail's way too big, but whatever. Um, you know what, let's just make it longer, and then there we go. It's an imaginary bird, it's entirely made up. Okay, and then um, this one, if that's a bird, then maybe these are some kind of mountainy things? So blob painting can be a lot of fun because it takes you out of your comfort zone. As you guys can probably tell, this is definitely out of my comfort zone. So if this is a bird, it needs more, it's more of a beak. Make it a hummingbird. I'm just pulling this water around. There's a really good amount of wet going on right in the middle, so I might want to lift some of that. And then this one kind of looks like Daffy Duck or something. I don't like that. So maybe the rest should be clouds. We've got this nifty bird here. Give it a second wing. And if I want to continue some of these marks back here, maybe so it's like a mountainy ridge or something that disappears into the distance, that could be fun. Maybe this one too. Oh, see, now look at that. It's turning into something. Uh, when I worked with autistic children back in Toronto a million years ago, <laughs> um, I used to do something very similar with them. I would get them to either throw down paint or take a shape from a card and then draw the shape or mess with what was already there. So they weren't looking at a blank page. So what this does is it takes away that issue of having a blank page and staring at a blank page and not knowing what to do with it. So I'm going to turn these guys into tiny little trees 
because we have a lot of trees like this in Germany that are perfectly round. They're like lollipop trees. You also see them in France. I really like them. Ideally, they should be spaced perfectly. Exactly the same height. And also if I use a smaller brush for the little stem. definitely should have done a warm-up. I can see that a warm-up could have been very helpful because my lines are not perfectly straight. Which is okay right now. There we go. A little bit of shadow down here. Now, the more you work with this, the more things will appear. Things will start to show themselves. The picture will start to take shape. And of course, I'm doing it monochromatically at the moment, but you can do it any way you want. Now, we're gonna get a bloom here. If you're not sure about blooms, there was a tutorial two days ago on blooms, or was that yesterday? I don't remember. Um, no, two days ago. Um, blooms and it's because there's a pool of water. So we want to move that pool of water out of the way a little bit so that it doesn't um, give me a bloom or a hard edge similar to that. But that's okay. I mean, it could. It doesn't matter. Do whatever you want. But in my case, I want to move it. I like that. I like that that looks like there's actual shadow going on there. I have no idea what this is. It's just some kind of something on the horizon. That's the wrong color. Maybe it's a cloud. Let's go back to the big brush. The bigger the brush, sometimes the easier because I can really play with it and play with it kind of quickly in a way that's not so easy with a tiny brush. There, now it looks more like a cloud. So do join me over on my school if you're looking for behind the scenes or any um, if you're looking for homework, if you'd like some reference photos, if you're just looking for more information or um, you know, inspiration, uh, if you're looking for a challenge, there's lots of fun things there. I look forward to seeing you guys in class. The link is below. And I will also see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. I'm Scarlett. Have a great day. Toodaloo.